So today what we're going to do is we're going to continue our look at those binomial distributions. And we're going to look at what happens when the probability is greater than 0.5. Because if you'll remember, our chart only goes up to 0.5. So if it's greater than that, then what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to use the complement. But remember that the probability of the complement of an event is going to be the same in this case than the probability of the event, right? So what we're gonna do is just look at a couple of these. So say for example, we have the probability that the event happens is 0.55. We have 10 items. We wanna know the probability of eight of them, okay? So we have eight items in that we're looking to find the probability of. Now, normally, we would just go to our table, find the probability, find the 10, find the 8, and read it off. But if you go to your table, you'll see that that can't happen because our table doesn't go above 0.5. So what we're going to do is, if that's the case, we're going to use make a table of complements. Okay. And what it's going to be is, if the probability is 0 0.55, we're going to look at the complement of that, which is 0 0.45. Right? The complement and the probability have to add together to make what number? One. One? Yeah? And so what we're going to do is, we're going to think about how many numbers would satisfy that. Now, if it was just eight, and there were ten items... Then the probability of 8, what's the complement of 8 if there were 10? How many more of them are there then from 10? 2. So the complement would be 2. So we could just go to our chart, look up the probability at 45, 0.45 of 10 items, 2 at a time, and then read the probability. Okay? So I'm going to flip over to the chart and do that and read this probability. But when I do that, all of this is going to go away. So everybody, everybody keep in mind what we're doing. So go to the chart. Again, it's 0 0.45, which is this next to the last table. We need 10. Go down to our number of items that we had originally was 10. And this time we're looking for 2. And that would give us a probability there of what? 0. 0763, okay? And that would give us our pro the probability, okay? All right, now, that's fine. When there's one number, it's very easy to find. But if there's a group of numbers, that's just as easy to find by doing the same exact thing. So, what again, we're gonna make a table. So let's do that same probability. The probability of an event happening is 0.55. We have 10 items, but this time we want to find the probability of, I don't know, less than three. Who cares? All right? So it's less than three. Okay. First of all, we, can we go to our chart and find the probability of 0 0.55? No. So that tells us we need to use the complement. Again, just subtract it from one to find the complement. Okay, now we need to think of any no of the numbers that work here. So if it's less than three, can that include three? Is it stuff that's bigger than three? Stuff that's less than three, right? So what numbers are less than three? Two, one, and zero. Remember, there's always the possibility of zero, right? Okay, now I want the complement of each of those numbers. And how many numbers did I start with? 10. So all I have to do is simply subtract each number from 10 to find its complement. So 10 minus 2 means what? 8. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 0 is 10. So then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to the chart and I'm going to find those values. Okay, so I'm, so I'm going to look for the probability at 45, 0.45 for 8, 9, and 10. 
And since it's more than one, what am I going to have to do with them when I find them? Add them together. Okay? So let's go to our table. Remember, it's 0 0.45, 8, 9, and 10. So 0 0.45 is this last one. Here's 10. Go down to 8. So that's these. So 8, 9, and 10 are these last three values down there. So we're going to, so we're going to use those values from the chart. So that's 0 0.0229. 0 0.0042 and 0 0.0003 and we're going to simply add those together and that will be our probability for that event. Okay? All right. See how it works? It's pretty straightforward. So let's see if the book will load again and if it does then we can look into some examples.